is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below taurus sun moon rising and venus welcome to another reading of yours it is a general reading this may or may not resonate with every taurus watching this video if you do need a personal reading all that information is going to be down in the description box below all right taurus let's see We have the world here as your overall energy, okay? So this is telling me that there is unfinished business between you guys, okay? Whoever you're dealing with right now, you could have ended things with this person, but this person refuses to end things with you, okay? That's what I'm seeing. You view this person as the eight of wands in reverse here. Again, flip the sides, okay? You can definitely resonate more with this side than this side, okay? So pick your side. Eight of wands in reverse here is how you view them. So you view this person as someone who's non-communicative, okay, delaying progress, okay, delaying communication on purpose, okay, creating your, they're creating their own delays. How they view you as someone who wants a brand new passionate beginning with them, okay, they, they view you as someone who uh, wants a new start with them. In your feelings, you feel with the five of cups and knight of cups in reverse here, you're going through a lot of regret, remorse, okay, a lot of loss, okay, you're constantly focusing on the past, what didn't work out, you know, something didn't go your way, and you have a lot of love for this person, but you're emotionally very shut off, you're not wanting to be vulnerable, because you're still crying over spilt milk. This person with a magician, this person here out here clearly uh, feels I, that you are very, very manipulative. Give me one card for the magician. Five of Wands, yeah, and you create a lot of drama and chaos in this person's life. They feel that you're very manipulative, okay, and um, they could also feel that they can't make things happen with you. But I feel this person feels you're very manipulative, and with the Five of Wands, yeah, this person sees you as someone who brings a lot of drama and chaos in their life. Yeah, that's what they feel. Whilst you feel you, you have a lot of love for this person, but you're choosing to shut off because you're constantly uh, uh, moping and uh, upset. And investing your energies about the past breakup or whatever happened in the past okay there's some past energy that you're stick, still stuck on that's why you view them as someone who's non-communicative and this person sees you as someone who definitely wants to start with you the ten of wands um what action will you take is the moon here okay so you have a lot of feelings for this person but there's a whole lot of feelings you're concealing okay you're not showing this person how much you love them that's for sure yeah, you're keeping things to yourself. This person with the Hierophant in reverse here, I feel this is someone here who was very, very committed to this relationship, okay? But now they're choosing not to commit, okay? Somewhere, somehow, they you, they just feel you're not their person anymore. There is this uh, energy of where they feel you guys just don't share the same belief system, okay? They uh, but, but I'm feeling someone here who just feels that something's not right, yeah? They feel this relationship, this connection is no longer in alignment with what they thought it was or they always thought this was a very meant to be connection here. But this person is just holding back. OK, they're not uh, investing into this. They were very committed to this once upon a time. But for now, they're not committing to this relationship at all. OK, you have a whole lot of feelings for this person, here, but you're not expressing it. OK, because you're constantly thinking about the past here. That's why the world in reverse. Someone's repeating the same negative cycle again and again. Not letting a negative cycle close. Ten of Wands is the near future here. So there is going to be a situation here. I feel, Taurus, this is you, but this could be cross water. Something's going to be a huge burden on you, okay? A relationship or whatever. I feel that this communication, that's not happening, right? This could be a situation which is just uh, very overwhelming for you in the near future, okay? And the outcome, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Fool here someone's coming towards you with a brand new beginning okay someone wants to start all over again with you but the queen of wands in reverse yeah, i feel you've already lost the motivation you've lost that mojo that lust that that uh, spark that passion for this person okay so i think you're just going to be very laid back very passive you know not taking any action towards this person because it's like you know it's got that lackluster is what i'm getting you know You've just lost the uh, uh, inspiration to be with this person. You're no longer passionate about them as much as they are for you. I was a fool here, but they're still coming in with that new beginning towards you. Let's clarify. What's the world in reverse here? Give me, why is the world in reverse here? Give me Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Swords in reverse, and the Seven of Wands here. 
So there is this sense of unfinished business here. You could be dealing with someone, you know, who's been very, very, uh, who's always been wanting to be single. Okay, someone who's embracing uh, singlehood. But now there's somebody who's wanting to be uh, come out of that singlehood okay someone who wants to be in a relationship is ready to commit here this person is being very restless okay they want to communicate with you taurus they're losing their shit but i think somewhere somehow with the seven of wands i feel this person is very defensive when it comes towards you you know because i feel somewhere somehow your this person sees you as non-communicative right so they probably feel that you block them out This person block you out on an energetic level, okay? They just feel the need to defend themselves from you, although they're restless about you. They're thinking a lot about the situation. They want to come out of isolation and talk to you, but they're very restless. They're reaching this point of burnout here, okay? But um, again, I think when it comes to doing, taking any action, they're not taking any action. Seven of Wands is more like a blocking energy, okay? It's not like literally coming towards someone. That's why things are still unfinished between you guys. Someone out here is constantly standing their ground, okay? Like they just feel the need to protect themselves, guard themselves. I feel there's one person here who's done something wrong to the other person here. Now they're just like, you know what? I need to apologize. I need to go to the other person here. Taurus could be you, could be them. Someone wants to apologize. Someone wants to come out of isolation, talk after they... I'm, I'm getting no contact between you guys. But this person wants to talk to you, okay? They're stressing over it, okay? And they even want to be in a relationship with you. But they're just not doing it. I feel this is someone here who keeps going back and repeating the same cycle over and over again. They know they need to do something to shut a certain chapter and move on to the next chapter if they want to be with you. But they just won't do it because see, they're so defensive about that change here. Why eight of... Star in reverse here. Someone could be losing hope and faith. What's the eight of wands here in reverse? The hangman in reverse. Give me one more card for the eight of wands in reverse. See, this person, Taurus, you view this person as the hangman in reverse with the five of swords here. Yeah, see, you view this person as very, very defensive right now. Someone who's standing up for themselves. You view them as someone who has released themselves from a situation that they were stuck in for a very long time, okay? You see this person as this person has released you and let you go, yeah? And with the five of swords here, you see this person as standing up. They have their guards up against you, okay? I'm getting more like vengeful. You feel this person's very resentful towards you, very vengeful, very spiteful. Yeah. And with the eight of wands in reverse, that's why you see them as just not communicating with you. You know, they refuse to talk to you. Ace of wands. Why does this person view you as the ace of wands? They view you as someone who wants a new beginning, okay? So want to start a new cycle, a new chapter with them. What's the ace of wands here? So they know you want them. Yeah, see. Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Strength in Reverse here. This person sees you as someone who is being very, very prideful right now. Okay. They see you as someone who's got a lot of ego, a lot of pride, and that's what's stopping them from coming towards them. Because they clearly see you with the Ace of Wands and Page of Wands, someone who wants to communicate with them. But you're not doing it. Because it's your ego. It's your overinflated ego that's stopping you from moving towards them, okay? But they do see you as someone who's dying to communicate with them. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. Feels. A knight of cups in reverse and the five of cups here. Give me one more card for Taurus's feelings. Give me one more card for the five of cups and knight of cups in reverse. Give me one more card for the knight of cups in reverse and the five of cups here. Yeah, see. You want to talk to this person here, but you're just being a coward, okay? You're just being a coward out here. You're holding back communication. You're trying to run away from communication. You're trying to run away from your feelings, see? We have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. They're both in reverse because you're constantly crying over spilled milk. I think, Taurus, you are going through a huge loss and a huge regret. You're just not being able to take things well, you know? You're not being able to accept this loss. You're constantly in your feelings. You could be going through depression. That's a lot of traumatized behavior, okay? Okay. Whoever this, whoever is this on this side, right? They're going through a lot. They're going through depression, okay? This person's hurting real bad. They just don't seem to get the courage in them to just pick up the pieces and move forward or at least gather the strength to come towards you. See, this person has so much to say. They have so much of love here, but they just have a hard time expressing themselves, hard time opening up. They're afraid of confrontation here. This person's just being a coward. They're, this is someone who's being an escapist here, okay? Using the five of cups as an excuse not to come towards the other person here.
Okay, this person's feelings here. The Magician in Reverse and the Five of Wands. Give me one more card for this person's feelings for Taurus. Give me one more card for the Magician in Reverse and the Five of Wands. Give me one more card for the Magician in Reverse and the Five of Wands here for this person's feelings for Taurus. This person and their feelings, okay, like I said, with the magician in reverse, the five of wands here and the temperance in reverse. No matter what this person is showing you, Taurus, no matter how much they're trying to resist this, okay, or whatever this is. The person out here, right, this person probably feels that they can't make things happen with you, okay, or they've just stopped manifesting you. Because again, five of wands, either there's too many people involved in your relationship, too much interference, or they're just very conflicted in their head, okay, with the five of wands here. Their head says something, their heart says something, they can't make up their mind. And ultimately, with the temperance and reverse here, this person's just lacking the balance, okay. This person is probably overdoing things, okay, they're overthinking, overanalyzing a situation, but somewhere, somehow, they're losing their patience okay they're lacking that self-control they're not being in alignment with themselves this person's not being able to trust their intuition okay they, they may show you as someone who's being non-communicative but behind the scenes this person's going batshit crazy they're resisting the flow they're trying to control the outcome here see with the magician reverse this person has a lot of doubt if they can make things happen with you or not they have everything that it takes. They, they have all the tools they need to make things happen with you. But the problem here is they've stopped manifesting. Why? Probably because it's taking too much time. There's no communication from both the sides here, which is making them give up. And it's just making them go crazy. You know, they're not being able to wait for divine timing here. A lot of confusion. This person just doesn't know what to do with, you know, they're just not... Um, I'm just getting someone who's just not being balanced and moderate right now, okay? They're overdoing things. Could be someone who's drinking a lot of alcohol. Doesn't have to be for everyone, okay? But because they're not being able to manifest you, right? They're losing their shit. That's what's happening. And that constant... Give me one more card for the five of wands. Give me one card for the five of wands here. Give me one card for the five of wands. Queen of cups in reverse. Yeah, see, this person is just having a hard time trusting their intuition here. They're very conflicted in their head, you know, they're emotionally suppressed, they're suppressing their emotions, they're purposely being very cold and detached towards you, you know, because they're very hurt, someone out here is very, very hurt, this person could be someone who has emotionally given and given and given to this relationship, okay, like, uh, like a lot of unconditional love is what I'm hearing, and there could have been unrequited love for this person on this side here, that's why Taurus, I feel this could be a cross watcher reading him, this could be you and this could be the cross watcher, take it how it resonates, but that's what I'm getting. This person's constantly having like that fight, you know, in their head. What do I do? What do I do? Because they're shutting down, right? They're, they're resisting the flow. They know that they have a lot of love for you, but they don't want to show it. Because they see you also as someone who wants to talk, but you're also holding on to your pride and ego. You see what it's... You see, you guys are just, I think, mirroring each other. Why is the moon here as the outcome? No, why is the moon here as the action that Taurus will take towards this person? Why is the moon here? Give me one more card. All right. So for this person, do the action. We have the moon here, the high priestess, and the tower in reverse here. Wow. Taurus, if this is you on this side here with the moon here, again, like I said, you have a lot of deep feelings for this person, okay? You have a whole lot of feelings for this person. You'd feel very deep. But you're suppressing your emotions. You're wearing a veil. You're, you're wearing a false mask. You're wearing a false mask. See how this is with the Knight of Cups and Knight of Swords in reverse here, like I said. You're just constantly holding back as much as you can, okay? You know you feel the need to confront the situation like today, but you're not doing it. Because you're only afraid with the Five of Cups here. Because whatever happened, happened. I feel you feel that somewhere, somehow, it was a missed opportunity with this person. And you feel this person's just not going to take you back. Because you anyway see them as someone who's just determined not to talk to you. So yeah, with the High Priestess here, I feel your intuition is asking you to hold back. Okay, but with the tower in reverse here, I also feel that, um, see, that's what I'm saying. You're trying to avoid a disaster. That's what I'm getting. You feel that if you approach this person, there are chances things are going to be completely chaotic and destructive. Okay, things are going to, you know, backfire and blow on your face. It's going to blow up badly. And that's why you're trying your best to keep your emotions to yourself. You know exactly what's going on, you know. 
you're in tune with your emotions. You know how much you love this person here. But again, your only fear is that you don't want to screw things up with this person here. Okay, because you already have in the past. Especially the way you view them, you really see them as someone who's released you. So you're like, I don't know if it's a good, uh, if it's the right thing to do. Should I even approach this person here? You're just refusing to speak to them. Uh, what's the Hierophant in reverse? Why is this person's action the Hierophant in reverse? Give me one more card. This person's action, the Hierophant in reverse, the Six of Wands with... I hope you guys can see, right? This is better. And the Six of Cups here. This person definitely wants a reconciliation with you. They do. Okay? They do. I feel this person has a lot of feelings for you. They want a reconciliation here. They miss you a lot. Okay? For sure. But again, what I'm feeling is that this person just removing themselves from the situation here and moving forward with the Six of Wands here. This person is wanting to focus on themselves. I mean, their personal life looks really good. Maybe this person is very focused on having success and victory in other areas of their life except this connection here. They're doing very well. They could be in the public eye. This could be a celebrity, some a YouTuber or someone, you know, who's in the public eye. They're doing well, very well in their career, business, job, whatever, right? With the Six of Cups here, again, I'm getting this person has a lot of love for you. They see you as their soulmate. They feel a strong soul tie connection towards you, okay? But they just feel forced to move away from you because with the Hierophant in reverse here, again, this is someone who's just losing the faith and belief that things will ever work out between you guys. Magician in reverse here. You know that belief that they had that you know you were that person things will work out with you okay it's just they're just it's just not happening you know i feel somehow some of this person is losing that um you know um they feel that there is no understanding on a spiritual level or an energetic level between you guys anymore okay they feel you guys are not on the same page you know and uh again could be they could see you as someone who's non-committal all right. And they just feel somewhere, somewhere that something's wrong about a situation, you know, more like a danger zone. Yeah, they, they don't see that telepathic connection with you anymore. So they're choosing to move forward, even though they have a strong connection with you. That's what they're choosing to do. Your intuition, probably you're trusting your intuition. You're probably your intuitions ask you to hold back because you feel that if you approach this person out here, it's just going to be a disaster. You're just trying not to create a mess. OK, you're just staying safe. What's the 10 of wands here? But the more safer you stay, Taurus. The faster they leave. What's the Ten of Wands here? What's the Ten of Wands? Why is this the near future? What's the Ten of Wands? Why is this the near future? Give me one more card for the Ten of Ten of Swords. Yeah. See, in the near future, here someone's ten, ten, ten. You have the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords here. This is all happening because someone's just not in alignment. Someone's losing faith and hope that things will ever work out here. This no communication is what I'm getting is a big burden out here, okay, in the near future. It's just going to stress the shit out of the other person here. Someone's just going to land up feeling backstabbed, betrayed, cheated, okay, but the end of sorts is also overdoing things, right? This is a lot of losing hope and faith that things will ever work out, you know, not being able to surrender, not being able to let go, you know, and 10 of swords here, this is just a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing and this, this, this burden, okay, this overwhelming situation, you know, a situation which once made you very happy is becoming more of a stress, you know, and that stress is leading to the 10 of swords here which is leading to exhaustion here, a burnout, okay? And all this is because someone's just not being able to work for divine timing. Someone's like, you know what, in a hurry. I think it's this person out here with the temperance in reverse here. Could also be you, Taurus, if you're in this side here, because we have the temperance in reverse here. Again, lacking that faith, hope, you know, this person's just giving up, okay? Taurus, if this is you, then this is you. If this is the person you're dealing with, this person's giving up, okay? They're giving up. They see you as someone very egoistic and very prideful, Yeah. And they just feel you guys are just not on, in alignment with each other. All right. Tell me the outcome here. Why is this the best possible outcome? The Queen of Wands in reverse and the Fool here. Give me one more card for the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Fool. Give me one more card for the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Fool. Okay. So I feel like there is someone who's going to come towards you, okay, Taurus, or you're going to come towards, go towards someone with a brand new beginning. Someone wants to take a leap of faith and wanting a reconciliation here with the Three of Cups here. But... The problem here is that you're not going to be interested anymore, Taurus, or it is this person here. Queen of Wands and Reverse is someone, you know, who probably is coming in, okay, 
either this is someone who's an attention seeker okay and they just want to reconcile with you or i'm getting more like someone out here wants to take that leap of faith again the fool is someone who just likes to be free right they want to take a chance they want to take a risk they don't want to give any guarantees okay no strings attached is the kind of energy that this person's coming towards you with they want to start from scratch ground zero okay and they want a reconciliation with you but with the queen of wands in reverse here i feel you've just given up on the situation you're lacking the you, you just lack the patience that there's this lackluster that passion uh, motivation determination to pursue this person you know or get into back into this relationship anymore okay so that's what i have for you as the outcome here i hope this resonates with you like share subscribe and i will see you next time Bye bye